know, it's a collective effort down on that goal line. Everybody made plays, everybody got pushed back, and I was a guy that was able to capitalize off of it. Do, do you remember him? He said he came to you and told you your best, maybe the best pro he's ever been around. Do you, you remember that conversation and what, what kind of sparks did you think? Uh, yeah, you know, um, Pease told me that, you know, I'm probably one of the best pros, and he was giving a, a, a pregame speech before the game, uh, the night before the game. and. No means a lot, man. He's been around some great pros, man. A lot of guys that I look up to, and uh, I definitely would, would, would take that compliment yeah. for the rest of my life and hold that, you know, cherish that moment that he gave me that. So, but I think the biggest thing is, man, just the way I handle myself day to day. You know, I come in here, I want to work hard, I want to get my teammates better, and, you know, I control what I can control and don't worry about any other situation. And, and I'm, I'm sure some of that is obviously the fact you've been so productive and so good. Another part of it is, is because maybe how you've handled situations. You know, obviously, you, you want to be on the field all the right. time in a situation now where you're not as much, but then when you get called upon, you make a play like you did on Sunday. I mean, how did you get to the point where you were so able to be a teammate like that? I've learned from some great guys. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was funny. We had a, a referee that was here. Uh, doing training camp and he was one of my teammates in Denver and uh, one thing that he said to me back in the day was uh, you thought this couldn't happen to you and it was just a game of football just yeah. the ins and out of the business understanding the business side and I think that kind of shifted my perspective on that hey the NFL it's a it's a business and you got to make sure you approach it that way once you realize that but overall man it's just I'm here to do a job I got to do a great job at doing whatever I'm doing whether that's on special teams whether that's starting on defense but at the end of the day, you got to go out there and make those plays. Wesley, uh, sorry if you already. Been, sorry if you've been asked about this, but that that goal line stand, uh, the last one in the league that that the team pulled that off and won Super Bowl, Malcolm's interception against okay. Seattle. Uh, kind of nice to be in some very exclusive. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a whole nother level though to be in it with Malcolm winning the Super Bowl, making big plays. But man, that, that just goes to show this NFL. You got as long as you have an inch. This is just a chance for you to win. It doesn't matter if it's 99 yards away or if they're on the inch yard line. You got to go out there and play and, and leave it out there on the football field and let the game be decided in your hands by playing hard.